Hello everyone, my name is Troy, as you all know at this point. Welcome to a, for me, special laid-back night edition. Ooh, it's 12 o'clock at night, and I'm going to try and keep it relatively tame. Uh, when you have a full-time job, sometimes you can't uh, really get uh, things in uh, a certain schedule that you want, but I want to keep getting you guys new stuff, and I'm way ahead of you uh, right now, probably as far as how what things are recorded, but you'll know uh, I'm, I'm in here. You'll notice I'm in here. Uh, last we were at the catacombs, and I realized that I didn't... I kind of needed a, uh, something that uh, gave off light because I was blind as hell. Um, so uh, I did a little research. It was something that I was actually stuck on. I couldn't figure out what, like where the hell I was supposed to get anything. And I, I did a little reading. Uh, I didn't do a whole bunch, nothing that would ruin the story for me, except for maybe one thing that was hinted at, and I actually read into it and found it out on my own. Um, I think a while back, a couple episodes, I actually was in here, and I was like, oh, watch, this uh, will be this uh, will, statue is actually an illusory wall. And I hit it, and it's something, something on the ground said it was one. And I was like, oh, okay, let's see if it is actually one. And uh, it wasn't, uh, from what I could tell. And then, um, uh, after I did my research, uh, you'll notice that I've actually got uh, two things that are new before I continue on. Uh, I've actually made my Claymore a cult. It actually seems to have backfired um, because a cult, uh, after I looked it up, uh, I, so I've undone my uh, raw uh, ascension, and I've made it now a, a cult ascension, and it doesn't do a lot of damage um, it does, I mean, like, comparatively to, like, how a Claymore would be, it does a lot of damage, uh, but uh, it does a lot more magic damage, which injures certain uh, things, but nothing that seems to, from what I looked up, is I had to find out why the hell it was sucking so bad. Um, but I'm going to hold on to it, because I, I did see one thing, and I, it kind of spoiled things for me a little bit, but I didn't, I'm not going to look too into it. But I'm going to keep this as a secondary thing, and I will use it from time to time, maybe. Uh, on certain enemy types. Um, you'll also notice that I've ba gone back to the coat, and I've also got uh, Havel's uh, hands. I've got the Iron Tarkus helmet and the Iron uh, Tarkus boots. This is because I've decided that I'm at a point in the game, in a skill level at, in the game, where uh, just having certain things on is not going to necessarily affect the outcome a little bit. I'm going to take more damage, uh, but I have a plus three S's flask. I've gotten better at dodging, I think. And the Iron Tarkus helmet is a step up uh, for uh, the sack. It's more or less sack version two, and it actually does something. And it's you know, Garthat is a sister sisterhood of the sack. She started the sisterhood of the sack, and it, uh, this will now be representative of that. Uh, that's so. Uh, that's how I imagine anyway. But uh, I think the a wanderer coat. I did upgrade uh, our, uh, the. Uh, Sack 2.0 uh, a little bit, and the boots. The Wanderer coat is actually completely maxed out. It's actually uh, maxed out. Uh, this Wanderer coat is actually pretty good uh, compared to a lot of uh, upper stage items. Uh, it's pretty rounded, too. It's very well-rounded. Uh, very good. Um, uh, actually, fully fully upped. It actually beats the Goldhem Black Cloak on Fire Resist, so... That's where that is, but here's here's why I'm here today. Um, I need a way to see what's going on down in the Tomb of Giants. Uh, I have to become an expert with this because now that my uh, sword is not too great, so I, I've kind of I'm kind of in end of game Garthat mode, and so just to advance things, I do need to take this off for a moment shouldn't destroy this respecting his name how the Havel's men wore the ring to express faith in their leader and to carry a heavier load um, so here's this I'm at the dark moon tomb this is the dark moon seance ring grants additional attunement slots that doesn't seem so great at the surface which is what I probably looked at and forgot I looked at it's been a couple maybe two weeks since I played this game last but this ring is granted to adherence of Gwendolyn Dark Moon Deity and Last Born of Gwyn, Lord of Sunlight, the youngest, grants additional magic attunement slots. The Dark Sun Gwyndolin, Dark Sun, 
Gwendolyn is the only remaining deity in Honor Londo. His followers are few, but their tasks are of vital importance. So Gwendolyn... His followers are few, but their tasks are of vital importance. So there, there is a hint in there, actually. Uh, it's, he, it says in there... I'm going to hop onto this real quick. That Dark Lord... Uh, Dark Sun Gwendolyn, the youngest of Gwyn, is actually the only deity in on Orlando, which who, uh, which means uh, Gwyna, Gwyneth, Gwyn, Gwyndol, Gwyndol, whatever the girl, that giant princess with the, the boobles up in that uh, chamber, is she actually, I don't know if that's like a pretender I was like talking about like how like how the hell did she get into this room with like the tiny door and everything? But I saw something that revealed a little bit more to me uh, when I was researching. I'm getting something that uh, would give me some sort of light source. This actually is an illusory wall. <laughs> Check that shit out. Um, so welcome to the episode where. I apparently, I don't want to have that on now anymore. I don't know if that goes away once I, uh, does that just, is that automatically gone now? Yeah, it's just automatically gone. So you only use it once to reveal this, but from here. Halt! This is the tomb of the great Lord Gwyn. Tarnished it shall not be by the feet of men. If thou art a true disciple of the Dark Sun, cast aside thine eye, hear the voice of mine self, Gwendolyn, and kneel before me. Why shall I kneel before you? My goal is to re replace Gwyn. I will not kneel. You faked your... I, I'm assuming you faked your sister... And I've got something to do. I am here for a reason. You're foolish. Don't even start, man. Why trespasseth upon the great lord's tomb whilst thou art a disciple of the dark sun? No. I'm Garthat, the chosen undead. That that tooth, by the way, looks ridiculous on her back, for the record. Okay, so... Dark Sun Gwendolyn. Okay, so this is a boss battle. Oh. It's a really long haul. Oh, is it just... Okay. Whoop. Am I just dodging that? Weep. Okay, so I gotta just dodge a little bit, it looks like. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fucking machine gun over here. Youch, that actually hurts. I'm gonna heal up. Oh, okay. So I've gotta be quick. It's gonna be tough for Garthat, but we'll see. Nope. 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 Oh, come on. Okay, this is gonna be a learning experience, I believe. And over here we go. Ouch, that actually hurts really bad, unfortunately. I feel like just due to the amount that they're throwing at me and due to like how this is working, if I can get a hit in, it'll probably be able to do something. Do it! Oh! Oh, I got a hit somehow. I, I hit him through his, uh, through his bullshit. Oh, that went through the fucking post. Really? Whoop! Oh, there I go. <laughs> well, I learned a thing. I can at least uh, hit him when he's in the middle of teleporting. I don't have to give up right away. Oh, another thing I was going to be doing was I was going to be actually timing myself. I've been very bad about that in general. So, actually, uh, here's the thing. Supposedly, like, most of the enemies in Anar Londo uh, don't react well to occult weapons. Maybe I'll give this a try just for shits and giggles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> My shit's all the way down the hallway. Alright, I need to fucking get over there. And 
Here we go. Uh huh. Whoop. Close, close. Fucking this guy with machine gun ammo. Nope, that does absolutely nothing. <laughs> God, that is. I should not have undone raw for that thing. I, maybe it has something to do with my faith. Because faith is like how you get magic and shit. I'm almost. That's probably what it is. That's like all I can imagine being the issue at this point. Whoop. Oh, shit. Oh, hey. Hey, 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 hey. They survived. Okay. This is actually relatively tough only because of it being not the same sort of deal as it really has been before. Um, I do want to kind of have that stamina, but I purposely had lower... Oh, whoop, they didn't want to do that. I purposely had brought down my... Also, I have upgraded that one more time. I've done a lot off screen just to kind of get caught up with my own my own self. Um, apparently one of the one of these shields that I've already grabbed was a pretty good magic shield. Yeah, I think it was this guy, so I can try using the spider shield to repel that magic a little bit more. Um think that that should work fine yeah 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 I, I, I don't I'm not sure but we'll no no harm in trying I can't not like I can fucking hit him anyway oh I'm gonna have to do this cutscene every fucking time apparently okay It's gonna go right ahead. Oh, that was a bad, bad call on my part. <laughs> well, it's good old-fashioned learning experience. At least, however, at least this is this fire shrine is right here. All I really need to do is. Just fucking get in there. Alright. This first one doesn't even fucking matter, so... Yeah, I'm not... I, well, I don't know if I wanted to actually do that. Oh, I'm not sure... Oh, maybe some of these are better protected than others. Hey, let me retrieve my power that... Yeah, that fucking wrecks me. This just might be an issue if this is like how it's gonna be. Well, might as well just be ready to fucking destroy him if I'm not gonna even bother with that shit. Gain this back. Nope. Yeah, 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 there we are. Wait for that to go by. That'll hurt. Ow, that'll hurt. Those arrows are kind of what I have to hope for. Because I can really get them then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couple of, tho couple of those, you should be done. Whoop. Those are the ones that would mess me up. I don't always get knocked back by the big blast. These are the ones that kind of ruin me, though. Arrows, arrows, arrows. Okay. Don't you fucking teleport, you fuck. No! Ah. Okay, well. I gotta get closer quicker. Whoop! Okay, didn't hit me that time. Dodge these guys. Dodge those again. Whoop! Oh, got a little, got a little zealous there. This is doable. This is totally doable. It's just I, 
got to be careful with when I go for an attack. It's a lot of timing. And me this actually, you can't memorize his moves in what order because it, the computer doesn't do it all the time. But I can. I can, however, just get on. A, got it's there's. I just see. I see this is not a terrible battle. It's just a lot of figuring out what move to make and when. Okay. Now I want to go for him. I'm not gonna get him this time. I don't think. Nope. Can I dodge you somehow? Okay, I can do that. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Well, there I do have my invincibility for a short period of time. Um, if I don't do a jump dive, maybe I can just do a normal uh, of those dives, and I might not take any damage from those if I time it right. And then I can move up on those arrows, which are easily, 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 easily dodged. I'm going to have to do a little experimentation. Okay, slow down. Dodge. Run. And arrows now. can dodge those. Dodge those. He's going to do them again. Might actually be able to get a hit in here. Get one more. Oh, yes. I actually think I did. All right. So I need my stamina back. He's doing arrows. Oh, he's doing arrows again. Ouch. Oh, bad choice, Gwendolyn. Oh, yeah. I should be able to get him if I... I think I, I, think I got his shit figured out. Why are you doing arrows, dude? I mean, I'm not. I'm not gonna complain. You are Dunyan rings. Are you? An eternal curse upon thee. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Whoop! Something happened. Oh, it just. That was an endless hall. Soul of Gwendolyn. Okay, I, def I got an achievement for defeating the Dark Sun Gwendolyn. Oh, I didn't get what I was fucking thinking would happen. Oh, that's actually a really short haul. Well, I got 40,000 souls. I'm not going to fucking laugh at that shit. I was under the impression that I was going to get a fucking helmet that, um, that lit up. That's the only reason I've done this. Well, I still... Oh, this is... This is actually Gwen's tomb. It's a huge ass fucking tomb. It's got like roses on it and shit. Interesting. Is this a uh, mimic? No, it's not. One of these might be. This one doesn't. What do we got here? Miracle Sunlight Blade. I'll check that out. I'm not really good with miracles. This shouldn't be a mimic. There's nothing in there. And what else we got here? Brass helm, brass armor, brass columns, brass leggings. Okay. That's different stuff. Um... Eh, not really that great. Brass leggings, not really that great. Um, brass gauntlets, not really that great. And brass armor, not really that great compared to what I've got. So, okay, well, thus ends this episode of Solo Play where I fight this bitch and nothing fucking didn't give me anything. Well, thus concludes a late night edition for now of solo play. We'll see you next time.